Good morning and welcome to a mother another Monday morning art talk. So I'm going to sound like a commercial right now. You guys ready? Have you ever lost the desire for drawing? Have you ever felt that everything that you do, it's just not working out right? That whatever you put on paper, it's just not there. It's not just going from the mind to your hand and it's just not working out. It is frustrating. Well, I got news for you and that news for you is we all go through it. We all go through this. This is a never ending quest. You can ask any professional, anyone who's been working in the industry, you're gonna get those days. And why I'm doing this art talk right now is I was having one of those mornings. I go to do a drawing, I'm doing a drawing. I got a purpose for the drawing. I'm putting it out, I'm drawing it. Not hitting it, dang, okay, doing it, doing my, my rough sketch, okay, my rough sketch is feeling like it's working. All of a sudden, I go to do my cleanup line, and I start to hit over it. Oh, it's not working, it's not working. Wow, frustrating. It's been going like this my whole career, my whole life. It's never changed. Some days are better than others. Some days are easier. Some days I don't get that thought, but I can guarantee you it's going to happen. I don't care where you're at. It just It's a frustrating process. There's nothing you can do to change that other than my solution. It's not even a solution. It's, uh, it's uh, okay, turn it off. I'm, I'm not going to work on this right now. Um, let me just do something else real quick and then let me come back to it. So that's what I did and I turned it off, you know, on my screen and then I go back and I just try a whole new approach now. The other one that I was doing, it was working, but it's not that I want to abandon it and just give up on it. But let me just think of this, if there's something else I could do instead that might, um, uh, feel like it's just flowing just a little bit better. So that's what I did. So I go back and start doing another one, change the perspective, change the idea of it, and I start working on it, and lo and behold, getting close, but still not working exactly, still not working. So at this point now, I must say there's a difference here. I'm fortunate that there's no, I don't have a deadline on this. So it, it's not, I do have a deadline, but it's not for a while. So it's not something that I have to, oh my God, the pressure, I gotta get it done by tonight. That's a whole different other pressure when it's not working for you when you have that deadline and that deadline's coming up. I still advise taking those different breaks, try drawing something completely different, walk away, you know, go through this. But I just wanted to share with you my process with what I'm doing right now. So right now I've kind of put it aside. It's been probably about an hour. I'm still going to do some other stuff here um, around the house and just also with some other work that I need to do. So I'm going to focus on that. And when I'm done with that, then I'm going to address my, um, my, my problem that I was having just a little bit earlier. But, you know, the news that I just kind of want to share with you is, listen, we all go through this. It's one of those things that as a professional, you do have to attack it. You can't abandon it because what happens is why I say don't abandon it because you may go be going through some drawing problems. You may find that what you're, what you're doing, you're struggling with and it's not working out because you don't have the knowledge. Um, acquired that you need. You don't have that artillery, um, that reservoir, and maybe that's something you got to work through. It may be something where you are working on a character and the hands aren't working out or the gesture's not working out or the anatomy is not working out. And just thinking about that is, um, okay, I, I got to work through this. I got to work through this. I can't just all of a sudden abandon it. And that's what I find just, I've noticed in students a lot where they abandon the stuff that's too challenging for them. All of a sudden it gets challenging and they leave it extremely rough and they don't even go beyond and try to attempt to, to take it to its fullest potential. Even though they still don't have the, the, the tools, 
I say you still got to put in all the effort and, and work on that and make it happen. And through that, and through pushing yourself through those barriers is what's going to strengthen your overall art down the road. Yes, you're still going to have those brain farts and the drawer artist block and everything else is going to sort of hit you. But uh, that's just something that you just need to, you know, keep in mind and, and practice with. All right. So uh, work through it. Um, you can even pull out my Posebook 3D app plug in there right there you see how it kind of went right in there uh pose book 3d and you can just flip through there and you could just draw just draw things just anything just to get your mind distracted from what it is that you're um working on all right and uh that's it so make it a great week do what you got to do i just do want to share with you just a very uh, quick little story here the few art talks ago i i said hey i wanted to go to israel and uh do, do a talk there and this is where initiative comes in. Um, this uh, great artist, Noah, out in Israel, contacted me straight away. This is, again, there's a boom, 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 make things happen. Where anything you want to do, all of a sudden she contact me, hey, saw your thing, you want to do this, let's make it happen. You know, and it just kind of all, um, it all worked out. It was all meant to be. And all of a sudden she kind of got the ball rolling. We've been communicating and I haven't really even announced it yet, um, but I'm announcing it right now, sort of. Um, it, it happened very quickly, very fast. And 30 people have already signed up. 31 people have already signed up for my workshop that I'm going to be doing in Tel Aviv in going to be in June. Um, and you could just look at the link below and it'll take you there. There's only about, um, only about 10, 15 spaces left. Uh, we're going to sort of like max it out at about uh, 50. Um, but it's happened quick. So, uh, thanks Noah for, you know, gra grabbing the bull by the horns and, and, and making something happen like that. And I'm also so excited to, to be out there, but, um, just anything you guys ever want to do, that's it. Just get the idea, take the action. Don't worry about the outcome. Just, just do it and see what happens all right and don't worry about your the reality that of your artist struggle you're going through it it's part of the process acceptance 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 this is what it comes down to all right make it a great week Hello, this is Steven and I just wanted to tell you about this cool thing that I'm doing right now through my website at silvertunes.com. It's a Skype mentorship. In a sense, what I want to do is just talk to you, meet you, tell me about things that are happening in your life. See if there's anything that I could do to help you. I can look over your artwork, do your portfolio, and just maybe try to push you in the right direction that you want to take your life and your journey. All right. So you can go to silvertunes.com, go to classes, click on mentorship, and you can learn all about it. We can try to arrange a time, set up a date. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. Um, and I just wanted to make it just very affordable just to open it up because I love doing this. I love meeting people from all over the planet. It's a really cool thing. And uh, with this technology, why not? So that's it. Thanks. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> go. go back. Go back. Go back. Great. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>